Um, thanks for sitting in. I want, to, I want to take a moment to introduce Aconda, which is a OpenStack integrated layer three through seven services. A little bit about, a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Mark McLean. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Aconda, uh, member of the OpenStack technical committee, um, was one of the original lead developers on the Aconda project. Um, the Aconda project originally started uh, back at DreamHost, uh, if you were listening to Jonathan's talk prior, uh, back in 2012, and so it grew out, and then uh, late last year, the DreamHost team spun it out into a separate company, and so that was how Aconda Equal was born. But one of the things that started originally with Aconda is we had several goals in mind. One of those was to deliver a very simple and elegant solution that was easy without the need for complex um, SDN controllers, um, make it compatible with multiple layer two fabrics. Um, what we want to do is enable deployer choice. Um, that way you're not having to install a very monolithic um, blob SDN controller within your deployment. You have options for which layer two you're running. You have options um, as well within Aconda. We'll talk a little bit about that. As well as Aconda's open source. Um, like I said earlier, Aconda was born in DreamHost. DreamHost has a very strong open source um, core to its to the company. And so open, and Aconda has been Apache 2 licensed um, since day one. So in our, in our current release, which is Conda 1.0, we announced it uh, just prior to the summit. Um, it includes a network, it includes an orchestration platform, um, which we refer to the RUG, um, which is kind of a reference to the Big Lebowski, which was the original, the RUG was the original code name for the project. Um, and Aconda supports multi-tenant um, network services, including routing um, and load balancing, as well as support for third-party network services. The reason we included support for third-party network services, while we at Aconda will um, integrate um, and give you, say, our version of a router or, our, or an HA proxy-based uh, load balancer, you have the ability to bring your own software router that can be integrated through our driver or as well as like um, more recently last week, we this week we announced a partnership with Nginx Plus, which integrates and has a driver in Aconda as well. Um, the 1.0 version supports multiple overlays, so Aconda will run on top of the Linux bridge, it will run on top of OVS, it will run on top of OVN, it will run if you're using hierarchical port binding and combined um, Linux bridge and hypervisors with Cumulus um, switching at the top, doing VXLAN offloading. So it's a, it, you can deploy it in a number of different ways, we've tested it in those ways. Aconda interfaces using standard OpenStack APIs for Neutron, Nova, Solometer, and Horizon. Um, one of the questions that comes up frequently is are we doing anything special with Neutron? And the answer is no, we're, we're using a stock Neutron and then have drivers um, that meet with the traditional layer three plugin interface for Neutron, um, so no secret or special sauce. So if we take a little look a little bit of the architecture, um, what you're going to find is you're going to find your physical um, layer two network, the underlay. Um, if you're running overlays within your network, um, Aconda has agnostic overlay support. So as I touched on a little bit earlier, um, from open source versions, you can have something that's based on primarily OVS or Linux Bridge. You have those two choices. Um, we've also tested on a few proprietary um, overlays, and it works. And then between that, um, the L2, if you're running overlays, are typically managed by Neutron and ML2 or a plugin. Um, and then you have the traditional OpenStack APIs. And then on top of that, Aconda provides managed services for routing, load balancing, um, and then coming with support for firewall um, as a service. And the Aconda management sits alongside of all these. So if we kind of considered what um, Aconda looks like, or what Neutron looks like without Aconda, this is kind of the traditional diagram you'll see. You'll see multiple layer two agents, you'll see a um, layer three agent and DHCP agent and advanced services agents. Um, and what occurs in those deployments is the L3 agent, DHCP agents end up being choke points and single points of failure. Yes, you can, you can have multiple copies of those services running, but even with L3 agents, um, if you're not running in DVR mode, you end up creating a choke point um, and, and for really congestion and within your deployment. So with Aconda, we can actually simplify this story significantly because we can replace the layer three agent, the DHCP agent, and the advanced services agent with a single Aconda service which manages um, and orchestrates the network services for you. So now time for a demo. So what I first want to point out is if you look in this window on the right hand side of the screen, um, what you'll notice is I'm just tailing the log in the background. Uh, this is just the, this is the Aconda orchestrator um, service. You'll notice that it's taking actions and states. Um, 
for deployment topology, I'm just using a very basic install of OpenStack uh, with Horizon. If you notice, we've got a router here. We've got a service, v we got a VM up. So, and the VMs are just running CIRROS um, configured to use DHCP. And so if I go in and create a new network, So we go through and create a network. If you notice in the background, the Aconda, um, the orchestrator is working. It's, it's received the event. It's noticed it. Um, and currently, because the network's not plugged into any routers, if you notice, when our topology map, um, it's not connected. So if we go in to the router and click Add Interface, I can go in. I can select our other network. And if you notice now, and if I go back to our topology view, you'll see the Aconda's work in the background. We now have our two tenant networks. So if I want to just kind of show you a real basic demo of just show you how Aconda has wired both networks in for routing, I'm, gonna go know, I'm now going to create a new instance on the other network. Oops. And if we go back to our topology view again, you'll see that the instance is up and running. If I click on Open Console, if you notice, it's our oops. The DHCP was automatically configured in the background by listening to the streams. I can ping the other instance. So in this case, what it's doing is it's routing between the two, the two tenants' um, network segments. And so this is a condo working in the background. Now, as a deployer, one of the other things that's kind of useful is Aconda has a full CLI um, command line tools, but also sometimes we've uh, integrated Aconda in with Horizon. Um, and so, like I said, our orchestrator is nicknamed the rug. So if you go down here and click on the rug tag, what you'll see is you'll see a list of the routers, which Aconda is a manager. And so in this case, it's set up for routing, so it's a list of the routers that it's managing. Um, the in instance name it's running um, when it was booted. Um, and also, you have a couple of actions you can take. Um, so for those who need to go in and fix one or two or kind of in investigate, um, you have rebuild routers so that you can cause the router, the orchestrator to rebuild it. Um, you can place the router in managed mode or unmanaged mode. So in unmanaged mode, it gives you the ability, say, if you're in a testing environment and you want to um, investigate or you want to look at different configuration options, you can actually make configuration changes. Because one of the things that uh, Conda is watching for underneath the hood is it also watches for config drift. So if you go through and make manual changes and your router's in managed mode, Aconda will go back and reset the configuration state to the proper logical config. Um, but sometimes when you're working in an environment operations mode, you don't want Aconda to replace your handcrafted. So you have the ability to place it in debug mode or in managed mode, um, or just force a config push um, onto the router. As well as you can set whole, tenant sec whole tenants into managed mode or unmanaged mode. This is useful if you have a test tenant, um, and you can use that to your advantage. Typically, what we'll find with deployers is when um, they're rolling out new, uh, new versions of the appliance image, they'll have a special tenant they use for testing. Via the rebuild command, you can go through, select which image you want to boot with, and then it will use that to boot with the test image, and that way you can make sure for any compliance testing. Oops. So one of the other things is, so if we're taking a look at the con in the background is also looking for changes. It's constantly watching and keeping the health. If you've noticed when I've been talking in the background, you'll occasionally see some text scroll by. So what Aconda does is it constantly goes through and checks. And via the driver interface, we're able to have a pluggable way to detect whether the appliance is healthy or not. And so by doing that, um, it's constantly monitoring. And so if you were to, say, kill an instance or a hypervisor were to die, Aconda will notice that and check and, and spin up a new version. So what actually is an Aconda? Um, routing, um, Aconda supports IPv6, um, supports standard DHCP and metadata. Uh, Aconda also supports BGP, um, inter internal BGP, as well as 
one of the things about Aconda, though, is we wanted to be transparent to the user. So as you notice from the OpenStack interfaces, you couldn't really tell we were using Aconda. The tenant interfaces looked as, as you would normally expect. All the logical um, components were um, the same. There wasn't anything that called out because mainly Aconda is mainly for the back end from the deployer side. Um, also, as I said earlier, it's, it's L2 agnostic, so whether you're running OVS on your hypervisor or Linux Bridge on your hypervisor, um, it, it will work there. Oops. And so this is kind of the topology for the slides posting later for where we added one in. As far as, and I mentioned the rugs with this auto failure detection, detection and showed you pictures of the, CL the CLI um, and, the hori and horizon support, which is in beta. Um, and then kind of just kind of give you an overview of under the hood, how all the components fit together. Um, if you were say have um, L2 agent running Linux bridge, um, you could have, those could be talking VLANs to the top of rack. Um, and then from there, the rug's actually listening into a special management network that's connected via the overlay in. So the, that way the rug communicates um, with the router. So if you see the two orange boxes are communicating with each other. Um, and so here you have a hardware VTAP. Uh, you could have a cumulus switch running as a VTAP. For example, horizon integration. So just kind of the recap. Um, Aconda is a 100% open source project. Uh, it's, been in, in, it's been developed with DreamHost since, 20, since 2012. It's used by thousands of VMs daily. It's in production, um, so don't be scared off by 1.0. This is actually a production system. Um, we were spun off, like I said, last fall as a separate entity, and so our 1.0 is available now. Um, so the key features, just kind of recap, is it's 100% compatible with Kilo. It runs with a vanilla Kilo um, installation. Um, basically routing, basic load balancing, service management, layer two agnostic. Down the road, we ha we're going to add some, we're going to add extra features as we go through the summer. So join us. Um, we have community. Like I said, it's all available on, um, it's all open source. So GitHub slash Aconda. Um, we have IRC channels. Uh, if you want more information on POCs or any kind of testing, info at Aconda.io. Or you can come find us in our booth over there in T50. So thank you very much.